2016 marks the biggest and best Oregon wine experience yet. A month of unique classes and fun events. And according to some of the most influential men and women in wine, the wine competition is making quite the impression. The bar was quite high. Uh, the quality of the entries in general compared to what I've seen in a lot of the other competitions was um, uh, significantly higher. In general, I think uh, top quality across the board from the, the wines coming in, the organization and structure of the competition, and uh, the awards that um, are going to be uh, presented to the consumers and to the wineries. In 2016, the competition went statewide, and the response from wineries was incredible. The rest of the state joined in. We had a total of 13 different AVAs represented. Based on the number of entries we have, we limit it to a total of 300 entries so that a panel of six judges can effectively evaluate the wines. We also limit to four wines per winery so every winery has a fair opportunity to participate. But in this particular case, by putting it down to four wines per winery, it significantly improved the quality of the wines that were entering in the competition. More entries also means a wider variety of wines. And that is something Oregon can deliver with excellence. You know, what was really surprising to me especially was the diversity of wines that we saw. Like we don't see a whole lot of Tempranillo being um, grown in California where, where I live. Quality is very high. I mean, across the board, the quality is very high. I think the experimentation is really cool. Um, they're playing with some fun things. Um, I would love to come and experience the whole thing. I would love to come and do it again and taste more widely and come back and visit the wineries and just get the whole picture, so I'm, I'm excited to come back. Winning a medal at the Oregon Wine Experience carries a little extra weight. For one, the judges include three masters of wine, wine writers and critics from across the nation, and enough combined experience to, well, let's say, fill a magnum wine bottle. But there are more reasons as well. The standards of the competition were, were also uh, quite high, so what a lot of competitions do, give you bronze, silver, gold, uh, here you're only getting silver. So really to get a medal in this competition means that the wines have to stand out and uh, be exceptional. To sum things up, well let's have Master of Wine Tim Hanai do it, because no one can say it better. The wines are world class, I mean they're really, really good wines and they're going to continue to get better as people get more and more in touch with soils and microclimates and, and what does best where. What I would say is don't miss it, and, and especially get here before the explosion of popularity and, and the money comes after it. One last reminder about the Oregon wine experience. Every cent of the proceeds goes to the Children's Miracle Network and helping kids in our community.